Hey, good morning everybody. It's the uh, Art of Comics here. I'm in Quartzside, Arizona, which is uh, literally the desert, little desert town that springs up during the winter months for the snowbirds. And um, we're going to talk about comics, don't worry, but sometimes you do things for money and sometimes you do things for family. Well, I'm here at the Quartzside Senior Center and because... <laughs> Because my mom runs a craft fair and it's her birthday, I drove down here to do my comic book stand that I have at, at San Diego Comic Con, the biggest comic show in the world. I'm going to be here with all the same good stuff and sell it uh, in front of these, like, I don't know, 40 old people. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I, love, I love geriatrics. I love my mama. I'm not going to make a damn bit of money. I'm not even gonna recoup my gas costs, but I'm here and I'll show you what it's like to booth at a senior citizen craft fair, which might be very similar to Comic-Con in some ways. We'll go into that. Let's go take a look. Okay, here we are in the senior center. This is uh, what you think. It's a senior center. It's a small little, there's a, uh, I don't know, 20 tables. Now here's the thing, to be honest, I've been to some cons that aren't much bigger. I've been to some really dinky cons. There was one in, there's one in Ventura, there's one in Tulare. Uh, the Fresno one was bigger than this, but I mean, I've been in some bingo hall type stuff. So this is like bingo hall wrestling basically, but, but it's gonna be great. And I'm, I'm excited to show you all my wares because we got lots of stuff here. We'll do that in a minute. Okay, after a little bit of um, work here, we set things up. Here's uh, some prints. I usually give these out with one of the books. Here's the original pages. So as you guys know, Priya, Missouri uh, originals were all done on watercolor. So I watercolor, uh, went over the line work that Jose did. Uh, here's the Nightmare Theater, volume one. This is really great. By the way, volume two is gonna be out on Kickstarter in a couple weeks, so look out for that. This was this is actually really good, and I did a little story in here. Uh, here's the Prime Missouri um, role playing game. Here's the volumes one and three of Prime Missouri. Now I don't have I don't oh, sorry one and two. I don't have three. I ran out of those, but I have the omnibus, and this is what really I'm selling now is that now that the completed story is finished, we have this, and this retails for thirty five. I usually sell this for 25 at a con. Uh, those of you who want any of this stuff, I will. Uh, I can ship it to you, not a problem. Uh, for these guys, I might sell it for 20. 20 is a little bit easier price point. You just get one dollar bill, and that's a little bit easier. 25 is nice. If I do 25, I might give them a post or two. Usually, I do little deals. Put little props here just to kind of give it a little bit of spice. I put some prints here. Usually I have a book open, but I thought I would just just put prints to get people to understand what's going on. I only have a couple copies of these left. These are the deluxe versions that were on the Kickstarter of one, two, and three. What's nice about these is that um, it has commentary. So as you can see, there's commentary throughout the entire story, which is kind of cool. So these are these are primo expensive. Uh, more of the nightmare. Then we did some fan art stuff here. Uh, just people like at Comic Cons, people like fan art, so did some fan art junk. Uh, same thing here, fan art stuff. And these are little ash cans. These are actually the 24 hour comic book day stuff. So How much are these? These are ash cans. Those are 35 each. Or I'll give you all three for 90 bucks. It is. And lastly, we've got our children's books, um, Space Bear and Steam Bear. These are 16. The problem with these books is they cost eight bucks to make. So you just can never, you can only sell them directly. You can never sell them at a store because it just doesn't work monetarily. And Served is a anthology that I was editor for. So I have some copies there. So I've got a lot of stuff here. 
uh, you know, normally at Comic Con, San, you know, San Diego, you wouldn't have this big of a table. This would cost like two grand to do. So uh, we're just putting it all out there today and see what what sticks. I'm assuming the children's books will probably do pretty good, uh, but I don't have a good spot for them. They're just going to be kind of off to the side, which is a little lame. We'll figure it out. Anyway, there you go. That's the setup right now. We're still everybody's setting up here. The bingo hall. Okay, we're just walking through here, and uh, we're just walking through all the different little vendors here, and uh, the show, and yeah, there's a lot of really creative stuff here. I do really like these little um, little play sets. I think those are really nice. I actually picked one up. It's a cute gnome. So it's all craftsy stuff, you know? But I dig it. I like this leather. I like the leather stuff here. I like these these handles for the um, cast iron stones are really nice. And yeah, if this is maybe the tiniest one I've done, uh, it's got to be. It's got to be. But you know what? Like I said before, sometimes you do things for business. Sometimes you do things for family, and uh, today was, you know, I sold five books, but, uh, <laughs> and there's no table cost, right? So, you know, when you do things like that, there's no table, so. San Diego, you know, you're plopping down a grand for a table, so a little bit different there. But, um, there you go. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions about boothing, make sure you bring your square. Or your card reader make sure you bring your change about 60 bucks and uh, sell some stuff stand up talk to everybody and that's what you got to do to sell stuff so they buy you as much as they buy the product so I'm always building a friendship learning about them talking to them pitching them not necessarily on the book but on me and my process and what I'm doing and that's what sells the books that's the key Everyone was silly that as far as selling. That's just one-on-one. But um, there you go, guys. Take care and see you next time. Bye.